host, Pablo Gunner, and I'm here to talk nerdy to you about fitness and nerdy things, of course, that I've been doing throughout the month, and uh, mostly for like uh, June, for, for the month of June, essentially. So I'm going to go over my weeks of what I did for fitness, the food I ate, whether it's good or bad or whatever, uh, mostly good. Music that I've been listening to, whether it was working out or just not working, not workout music. Shows, movies that I've been watching, checking out. Video games, of course, and lastly, comics. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, starting with week one, day one. That was yoga. Did three, I did yoga, then three miles outside in 30, 31 minutes. So, decent, decent. Not the greatest. Day two uh, was shoulders and abs. So, shoulders, I did... Four sets of 15 lateral side raises, and then four sets of lateral front raises. These, so right, that's the side, and then the front one's right there. And then the numbers, like I did, I would do like for, do it with 10 pounds for the sides, because the sides are, I feel like the sides are harder, so I go lighter on the sides. And then in front, it's easier, so I'll go 15. For abs, I did uh, 60 breath, lay down, crunch hold, 60 breath, legs out. And so I did this on a bench. So I'm laying down on a bench, keeping my feet so it doesn't go below, you know, below uh, horizontal. 60 spread eagles, so spread eagles just me, legs in and out like that. Uh, then 30 leg lifts, 60 crunches, another 30 spread eagles. 60 knees up crunches. So day three was two mile treadmill run in 15-15, which is pretty solid. Like I was hauling butt. I think what I might have been doing that day is I've been stepping it up because for the longest time on the treadmill, I've been going like 9.5 was the fastest. But I'm like, I'm stepping my game up. I'm going to go 10. What I've also been doing is I've been running, I'll run a quarter of a mile is at 10.0 instead of doing 9.5 for a minute and then resting a minute. And then I'll just rest for, for and then I'll rest 0.5 instead. So, uh, of a mile. And so that usually gives me enough time to catch my breath and, and go for another one, at least for a mile before I have to start lowering my speed. So that was an AM and then PM I did shoulders, abs, and legs. So shoulders, I did overhead press. I did four sets of shrugs. So that's just like, you know, I just did this. I would switch it up though. Sometimes I would do these ones. Sometimes I would do these ones. So I would switch it up and then also shrugs. You know, it's just, you're just, eh, eh, whatever. All right. But I use a lot of weight when I do shrugs because they're so easy. You know, that's, you really don't get that much of a workout unless you use high weight for its shrugs. That's what I've been doing that, so my shoulders were looking pretty good because I've been doing shoulders so much. So I did twists, so I would use the weights for the twists. I, like I said, I would be sitting on the bench and I'd have weights and I would step it up each time. Each time that I did a set, because I did four sets, I would add weight. I would go up five pounds. And then for legs, uh, I would do squats. Four sets of 25 s uh, squat calf raises. Go down as far as you can. Week two, day one, bicepulars and abulars. And so for biceps, I did uh, alternating curls, angle curls, twist curls, alternating hammer curls, barbell curls, cable bar curls. I'll show you what that consists of. So alternating like this, boom. Here's the thing. You do them, and like if you keep them straight, that's the hardest part, is keeping them straight. Now, when you go up in weight, it's going to be a lot harder to keep them straight, so you're good, you're, they're going to be bent if you go up in weight, so it's just going to happen. It's just too hard to keep that same form, but that's why like even with 10s, this is probably the best to get, to get those forearms and biceps. And then for angle curls, this, it's just, you know, like a, what, well, not a 90 course but like 45 alternating twist curls twist twist hammer like that and then of course barbells just just curl in like this and then cable is the same thing but the cable's easy so I can do a lot more and uh, same thing so you just I just step it up and wait so each time eat for each workout because they're easier then once again abs similar workouts I'm just trying to do more of them. I stepped it up five more each time is essentially what I did. Day two, six mile run in one hour and five minutes. Eh, decent, you know. That's that's pretty good, six miles. 
So that was, I know that was outside. Uh, I was probably ru running with my work work buddy. Day three, I did a two mile treadmill run in 1450. That one I was really hauling butt. I did tries and then abs, and I'm pretty sure I did tries and abs at night after I got off. Tricep extension, four sets of that. Barbell skull crushers. So I don't have a barbell obviously, but I do have this. So yeah, this is the right there, that. I just do that until I pretty much can't do it anymore, but that's not what I did for that one specifically. And then for for the for the barbell, it's you know, it's essentially this right here. You know, you're going like that. Laying down. I mean you could do it standing up if you want. Yeah, and then for abs, once again, same similar workouts, but I just stepped it up. I did five more, so I did like try to do 70 or like half of 70 for each thing. Week three, I did day one, shoulders and abs. Uh, shoulders, like I said, side raises, front raises, you know, that's what I did. And then abs, like I said, once again, now I'm doing 80, so similar workouts, 80. Day two, I did X training. So X training is where I do the yoga. I know I did that one with my dad, and I did the full X training where we did the we did the punches and we did the kicks and stuff, so it would alternate between punches and kicks. So it'll be like, just jab. I'll just jab for like a minute on this side and then I'll switch, you know? But I try to like, I, I throw my whole body into it. And so you feel it. I, that, that After that, this was all sore. My back was sore. Uh, you know, I felt it in my arms, all of it. So it was good stuff. And then like I said, kicks, front kicks, side kicks, back kicks. So that kind of stuff. And so alternate. And then you do, you'll do both, you know, and then you do your hooks and you do your uppercuts. So, and it's like a, it's a building block thing. My dad was sweating it out pretty good. Both of us were. It's been hot too. It's, it's a really good workout. Day three, I did uh, chesties and abulars. So for chest, I just did, I think I just did four sets of flies. For me, chest is really easy. I think it is for most people. Flies. Uh, like this, but laying down, right? Laying down like this on the bench or press like that. Uh, I'll post it on the website, all my workouts, what I did for the month. So that one, oh my gosh, that one, my chest was so freaking sore after that. It was freaking amazing. Like I said, abs, this time I didn't really step it up. I was, uh, you know, when you do abs a lot, you're going to be sore. And so you really... It's unless you're doing different kinds of abs workouts, you shouldn't be doing the same. You shouldn't be doing abs again, and if you, because they have to focus on different muscles. Because you have your upper, you know, you have your core, and then you got your lower. So if you focus on, you do it three days in a row, and you focus on different ones, sure that's fine, but not if you're just doing the same. If you're just doing lower abs and that's it, you shouldn't be. That's probably what I did, and that's why I didn't do that much. Day four, I did a 6.3 mile treadmill run in 62 minutes. Now, here's the deal. I've been trying to kind of do the Saitama workout, which is, I think it's like 100 push-ups, 100 squats, a 10K every day. I think there might be more to it, but I was like, well, let me see if I can do the 10K. So 6.3, that's a little bit more than a, than a 10K. Uh, 6.2, I wanna say it's 6.24, 6.27, something like that. Miles, that's what I've been trying to do, and I lose a lot of weight, but I'm also starving. So rolling right into being starving, the food that I ate. So I continue to eat bad food with my wife getting Rudy's brisket, but now she got some turkey. The turkey is heavenly. I should just get turkey from now on, and I'm sure it's, I know it's better for you, and it's really, you know, I'm sure has, it's more protein. And then the corn, I love the corn. The corn really doesn't have any nutritional value, but anyways. I also had a Village Pizza Calzone, a Dion's Santorini Pizza. She, this is the stuff that she gets me when she doesn't have time to make me food. Or I don't have time to prepare food. But I did have time to get good to Costco, so I got some chicken skewers. The wife didn't really care for them because I left some for her, and she was like, eh, they're okay. Probably would be better if I just made them myself. But, you know, I need to clean my grill and stuff, and I think get it get the gas for it. I bought also from Casso, I got riced cauliflower. And I heard about this online from one of the guys from SGNS. So I'm like how to make it, but I was like, oh, I don't have to make it. Okay, cool. I just can buy it. 
fantastic. So it's weird because it's rice, but it, it's cauliflower. It's, you know, well, exactly what it sounds like and it looks like pretty much. A new sea yogurt, I also get that from Costco. The wife got me organic honey barbecue chips. I got organic trail mix, that's also from Costco. Uh, sandia, which is watermelon. Uh, my, my dad actually hooked me up with that. Cherries, cherry season, so a lot of guys have been bringing cherries. Organic Gobert, that's also from Costco. The wife got me pistachios, that's been really great. I love pistachios, they're fantastic. So I had salmon, and then this or, uh, organic brown rice. I have those together. I also get chicken burgers from the Costco, and it's like seasoned with like kale and lemon or something like that. It was, they're delicious, they're amazing. I can't wait to get more. And then of course, uh, Matucci's, the wife and I had been going to Matucci's quite a bit, which is Italian, delicious, fantastic, but expensive. And then Laguna Burger, it's similar. I went to the convention with JD, and so since Laguna Burger was close, I treated him to there because we're supposed to be doing a review. Me and Slavey are supposed to be doing a review of Laguna Burger soon. So I was like, hey, I want you to try it out, you know? So we checked it out, and then of course, breakfast burritos. I think the wife made breakfast burritos, so we had been eating that throughout the week before our workouts, me and my dad, and stuff. so that's been great. Now, on the way to work, and just, you know, while working out and stuff like that, for music, I've been listening to Robert Plant. I've been wanting to get into more Robert Plant stuff, because there's a Robert Plant and Alison Krauss album. Love it. It is divine. But, here's the thing. I want to check out more. So I listened, started listening to his stuff that was like him, you know, after like he broke up with the band or whatever, stopped playing with the band. And it's alright. It's not bad. Nothing too great, but it's not bad. So there's nothing I've completely gravitated towards. I also got into Marin Morris's album, Hero. She's like country. I love that album. It is phenomenal. Almost every song on that album is really great. Of course, there's a few that just stand out, but it's really great. I also listened to uh, Billy uh, Cunnington, Do I Make You Wanna. That's a great song. I had also been listening to a lot of Whitney Houston lately. Really just her hits and stuff, which is really solid stuff. I don't care who you are. Can't Stop Love by Chandler. Uh, Stephen Kane Brown, uh, that one's really, really good. I've been listening to Kane Brown too, but there's not like, I don't, I'm like, uh, there's nothing I'm in love with. Like, I like it, but his album, I'm just not in love with it. I also s listened to, downloaded, Wu-Tang Clan album, Enter the Wu-Tang, uh, 36 Chambers, I want to say. And then Bee Gees hits, uh, me and you know, my dad's a uh, huge Bee Gees guy, so we were just listening to the hits one night, driving home. And then I also started getting into Lady Antebellum too late though because the concert, I was like, I started getting into him before the concert at Isleta where they play with Keith, Keith Urban. I don't like Keith Urban, so I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go. And I didn't know how big of a fan, I like, I've always liked Lady Antebellum, but I've never, not enough to, like, I just started getting into him and I was like, damn, I should've gone to that concert because it was, because I loved their, even their first album, so good. And it's self-titled, I think. So yeah, phenomenal album, their first one. I'm going to keep on getting more. So shows and movies, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Saw that with the wife. She wanted to see it. She loves dinosaurs and stuff. I will say it is sad at certain parts, you know, when you see them, like, die and stuff like that. Uh, and, like, that's, that's obviously why you show up. You show up, well, not to see dinosaurs die, but you see dinosaurs. That's why you show up. And so that stuff, you know, yeah, but, like, there's not very much character development. I was disappointed with that, especially because, like, you have Star-Lord in there. Let him be Star-Lord. He's good at that Star-Lord shtick, and you didn't let him do that. You didn't progress that much at all. So I was disappointed with that. And it was a decent movie. You know, you're, you know what you're coming in for. So it's not too disappointing. I started getting to Cloak and Dagger. That show was really deep, really dark, really fantastic. It's a slow build, a lot of character development and stuff like that. It's really big into deep and dark stuff. So yeah, but it's really great. I strongly suggest it. Luke Cage Season 2, phenomenal. The whole thing. It's the best Season 2 of the Marvel Netflix stuff. I think, without a doubt, it is just so good. It's really great. So yeah, strongly suggest that one. Uh, I started watching this show, Netflix. It's a Netflix show called Safe, as the guy that played Dexter. That's why I started watching it. Didn't realize it was British, but anyways, it takes place in this like gated community. The guy's daughter, she starts missing. Her, the boyfriend's missing too. They think they've run off together. Turns out the boyfriend's dead, you think maybe she's dead. And his wife has been dead, but he was like cheating on her with this other lady before she died and stuff. So it's just like all kinds of drama and it's actually really good and really intense. The first episode I watched, I was like halfway through it and I was like, man, I just want to turn this off. 
by the end though you'll be hooked so make sure you finish the episode if you watch it so because that's what's going to get you hooked i also saw love simon which is a phenomenal film that is just a great movie yeah it's like a coming out movie but i think it's just a great movie period i don't care who you are it's a really good touching film so the greatest showman i didn't know that was a musical Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, and Zendaya, those are like the main ones. That's also a really good movie. It's essentially like the Barnum, Barnum and Bailey Circus, you know, like the startup, the beginning of it and stuff, and some of the drama. But yeah, it is a musical, and for musicals it was actually really solid, because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, like I like them, but I'm not a huge fan of musicals. And, but this one was like the, that perfect amount of like, it wasn't too serious, funny enough to go like, okay, they're not playing it serious, I like that. I hate serious musicals. Like they're stupid. Also, so Ant-Man and the Wasp, I loved it. I thought it was a blast. I, it was so great. I will say like, yeah, the science and the physics and stuff is kind of like wonky, but you just, yeah, whatever. Just throw it out the window and have fun. It was an enjoyable film. The, the first extra credit scene was awesome it's a really great movie i think it was a lot of fun and it was really funny and it really works so yeah and the reason it works is because you have scott and he's on house arrest so it explains why he wasn't in civil war so there's that but it also explains as to why you don't have him um well it's in it makes it the movie's intense because it's like he's supposed to be on house arrest but they come to get his help you know, and then they're trying to save their their family member, you know, the mom uh, slash wife, right? And so you're like, well, you want him to save her, but you don't want him to get in trouble. So it's very intense on that level, you know, because it's like hard to have both. So yeah, that's why it's so great. I also watched uh, Negotiator. That's a solid movie. I think it's like, it might be like a 90s movie. So Negotiator is this movie with Samuel Jackson where he's a hostage negotiator and you see him like solve this you know like stop this this guy and then it goes into like they find out that someone has been stealing from the retirement fund and they it's the police it, some of the police have been doing it and so they try to pin this death on him so he holds these people hostage and he knows the game because he's a negotiator he gets this other guy to negotiate it's 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 really crazy and it's really intense and it's really awesome it's pretty well done so yeah i liked it uh, and then, then Traitor. Traitor is the one that is Don Cheadle. He kind of gets in with this terrorist organization, but he's already working with this guy on the on the secret. They're just trying to get the big guy, essentially. And they're like, no, stay in, stay in. Try to get the, get, the big, get the big guy. And so it's a really good film. I think the French guy from Wonder Woman is in it as well. So really solid movie. I also watched 9-11 documentary. I think it's called Legion of Brothers and it was essentially about two different Green Berets teams. I think it was right after 9-11 and one started at the top and one started at the bottom. One was on like uh, horseback and then the other one I think they had a they had a crew but they met they were clearing out all the Al-Qaeda especially they're trying to clear out all the Al-Qaeda and they were trying to meet in the middle essentially they're gonna meet in the middle taking them all out clear them all out out of afghanistan and i love this movie because of course it shows the brotherhood of the soldiers but i also loved it because it showed me why we're in these other countries and the reason that we're in these other countries is yeah sure okay maybe there's other political stuff like oil you know and stuff like that and things but the biggest thing like for this situation and why we're still there I think is because these countries like Afghanistan they wouldn't they wouldn't weed out these terrorists themselves so we had to go over there and do it and the reason we did it is so that 9-11 doesn't happen again the reason we keep doing it is it so 9-11 doesn't happen again so if you're wondering why we're in these countries and we're clearing out these people that could attack us that is why so that 9-11 or anything like it doesn't happen again Maybe we're creating more enemies by being over there and doing such things, but who wants another 9-11? I don't think any Americans do. I especially don't, so I'm all for it. Then I also watched a James Bond documentary. Now, it was about the guy who was the second James Bond because he was only James Bond once. He didn't like the fame and all that, and then he just went back to like living a normal life. It was really interesting. It was really great. It was funny. It was really, it was really cool. I liked it a lot. It was very interesting. I suggest that. And then the wife wanted to see Hotel Transylvania 3, so we watched that. It's cheesy. 
it's dorky, you know, it's the cruise, it's, but it's, it's, you know, it's fun, it's enjoyable, easy watch. Now for games, I had been playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, just falling in love with it all over again, you know, just doing, I'm still doing like all the towers and stuff, and some of them are really hard to get to. That's been a lot of fun, but I've been playing more Pokemon Go, whether it's on running. Mostly, like I said, I just focus on hatching eggs, but sometimes I'll, I'll catch Pokemon and stuff. And then I got back into Gears 4 because I had watched some gameplay for it. I was like, wow, I stopped playing at the, at right when it starts getting good, and I'm almost done beating it. It's, it's really great. It's really awesome. And then I finally beat Kingdom Hearts. It only took me 15 years. The reason it took me 15 years is because I had it on PS2. My PS2 broke. I never, you know, bought another one and for, for a long time. And so I borrowed the uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 remix from my cousin Mark. And so I've had that for like the last probably five years maybe. I don't know, something like that. And I've been trying to beat it. I was playing it with the wife and stuff. And then at a certain point, it just became so hard that I just started going trying to collect all the puppies all the dalmatians so that i could level up and stuff like that and then finally beat it it was really hard it was very rewarding it was great i can't wait to play more not of that one but you know like two and then of course before three comes out in january and then i've been playing uh, mass effect also on insanity i want to beat mass effect on all the systems on playstation i just have to beat it on insanity I can move on to two, get all the trophies because I have all the achievements, but I don't have the trophies. So I beat two and then three, and then I'm going to get my N7 tattoo. And then for comics, Harley Quinn and the Joker was amazing because Harley looks gorgeous and fabulous and awesome. And she's just like torturing Joker, but Joker's a psycho. And they know each other so well. It's just this crazy, messed up relationship they have where they just damage each other. Plastic Man has been so great. Gail Simone's knocking that out as well as Domino. Then The Weatherman has been so freaking crazy. You have to check that out. It's an indie comic. And they try to blame uh, this horrible world disaster on this guy that's a weatherman. He's really cool and awesome. Great character. So Detective Comics has been legit because they've been putting Black Lightning into it because he's training the young the young uh, team, you know, like the Signal and Cassandra, uh, Batgirl, all the younger characters and stuff. So that's really legit. And then Shanghai Red, which is essentially... This woman, she, I think she's from Portland, but these guys, they like sold her to these slavers. These slavers had her on the ship, you know, on the ship for like two years. And they're like, all right, you're free. She killed them, took over the ship. She went, goes back home. You know, really awesome and interesting. Really great. Uh, X-Men Gold has been killer because of the relationship stuff, the wedding. Uh, so the wedding was really freaking, it was, it was, it was crazy, but it makes sense once you, you know, if you know it and everything that's going on. Ant-Man and the Wasp have been great. It's not the Ant-Man and the Wasp from the movies, it's the Ant-Man and the Wasp from the comic. And so they're in the microverse and it's just freaking nuts. Uh, that's really good and really intense. And then Hunt for Wolverine Adamantium and Agenda. That has been freaking awesome, hilarious, and crazy. You have X-23 in there, Mr. Sinister. X-23 is just slicing up Sinister. She does not hold back. She is so hardcore and badass. Love her. I want to know what's your favorite rock band my favorite rock band is led zeppelin so i j and the reason is i just think they're the best at what they do like robert plant best singer you know bassist you know like everybody in that band i can't remember the names which is sad because they're my favorite band but it's been a while so and i'm tired so but yeah but everyone in that band they just i think they're like the best at what they do best drummer best bassist best guitarist you know they were all top notch at their skills so i think and and they just work they just fuse so well and it's beautiful and phenomenal and crazy i never get sick of listening to them so yeah that's why they're my favorite band i want to know why you, what's your favorite rock band so it was a pretty solid month it was pretty good my dad didn't do that much working out hasn't been uh, we're not eating salads anymore so we need to get him on like a salad a fruit and vegetable diet since he's not working out but he was doing he did do some he had been he's has been doing more running has been doing more walking and stuff like that doing yoga every time i do yoga he's usually doing it with me we did that one workout and if i can keep him on on the actual nerdy on the actual nerdy fitness workouts like x training captain cardio captain america cardio captain's cardio and stuff like that you know um, avengers abs as guardian arms you know those types of things i think he would be in really good shape so we need to stick him to those 
I need to stick him to that stuff to, to get to whip him into sheep. It's it's a slow uphill battle with him. And and like I said, I really want to I want to super get into One Punch Man, and then I think I might fully commit to the One Punch Man uh, workout. It's I don't think I would do do it every day, but maybe every other day, uh, bec um, because the running is so hard on you, and you need to rest your legs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I, I, but I want to watch One Punch Man all the way through first, uh, or maybe while I'm doing this, while I'm doing the workout, and probably do it for like, I don't know, do it for like a hundred days maybe, you know, and see if I can go that long. We'll see how long I can go. So yeah, that's what's up for the future because I don't really have any like specific like goals um, for like working out. At, at this moment so if you have any suggestions by all means send them towards me whether it be fitness you know food workouts whatever i want music uh movies shows games comics if you have any suggestions send them my way uh so stay fit stay nerdy love and peace Metal!